Hey everybody, it's Austin Buddy, um, and I wanted to do a real quick down and dirty video. Um, this will help out the people who are buying the new FM3 Live Gold Tone Pack that I just released July 3rd. Um, I want to show you how you can assemble your dream rig, to use that old expression from my old Tone Pack, using these presets, how that process works using FM3 Edit. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing, of course, is that you guys have to have played some sounds and you're making a list and you're saying this is a clean that I really like this is a whatever low gain I like this is my lead tone this is my whatever make your lists okay as you go through and you try different presets the things that you like note the preset and the scene that's what's important and write the name of whatever that is down so what we're going to do here is when I set these things up I give you 10 empty slots at the very beginning of each bank and I've already done a little pre-work here and I've pulled over four different presets one is sort of a clean and another is a, a sort of a nice medium gain voxy kind of sound so divided by 13 amp then there's an eddie van halen type of atomica brown sound amp and there's a sedano lead and i do this using manage okay so manage well the screen looks the same but this is the manager we won't use this side of it by the way but i wanted you to know that that's there because a lot of people don't know how to open that up we don't need to use that for what we're going to do today, but this is how you can rearrange your presets using manager. And there's other videos I've done on how to do that. Check out my Axe 8 edit videos. They walk through the same kind of process, but let's, um, let's pull a different clean in just because we're trying to show you how to do this. So I'm going to this basement here and I'm clicking on it and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy it. You see that? So I've copied that basement. I didn't take it. I didn't drag it. I didn't pull it. I didn't cut it. So it's still in the same place, but I'm going to now paste that basement right here in slot number two. So I've got two, three, four, five, and number one is empty. And that's by design. All right. So now I'm going to click OK. And it writes the preset. All right. So I know I've got these four here. So now I'm going to close preset manager. It's going to take a minute to read the presets. And we're going to make my gig presets, what we're going to call it. All right. So to do that, I need to pick a basic uh, an amp uh, we'll use let's let's use the Soldana lead um, and I can do this from that preset manager just as easily so I might as well do that again let's copy that and we're gonna make that our template right so I've got two of those and we're gonna rename that that the number one version of that here we go again it's reading it way too slow this is something I want them to fix. Um, now I'm, I'm killing time now while this reads so slow. I'm so sorry, guys. Actually, what I do when it does that is I stop it and I start it again because it's so frustrating. Um, I don't know why it does it. I can't predict it. Usually it's pretty fast, like right now. So there you go. Now it's captured for posterity. Okay, there we go. So now we're at this one, and we're going to call this my, my gig my sweet gig preset how original of me all right and we're gonna go ahead and um name the areas that we're doing it we're gonna go to this cool first of all we're gonna hit this 10 thing so we can see what'll show up in our little screens on our fm3 it'll say my sweet g right now that's all you'll see in the little screen the big screen of course will say the whole preset but if you have an F fc6 this is what you see when it starts to dark out you don't see it and now we're going to hit this block info and notice what happened. It tells me what the values are for every block, which is very interesting. A, B, C, or D, what channel that block is on. That's very important so we can monitor things. The reason that's important is you'll notice this amp one and two and scene one here are on A, but when I go to two, they're going to switch to BB. This is the way I've set all my presets up on the uh, Live Gold. They don't do this in the factory by default. It's just the way I've done it. And CC for scene three and amp DD for scene four. And that's how I make sure the amps and the cabs line up with each other. All right. So now I'm going to go to this thing called Scene Manager real quick. And I'm going to rename the scenes that I'm going to do. I want scene one to be my clean. And scene two will be my divided by 13, I'll call it rhythm. 
And this one will be my EVH main. And we'll call this my Soldano lead. You call them whatever you want. And again, you can change all these as well. Notice these all still line up, etc. So now we've got that, but of course, everything says Soldano, right? So we have to go and we're going to cut and paste three different amps and three different cabs into the respective slots. That's the concept. So first we want to do a clean, right? So we're going to go to that Fender Baseman and it's going to show up on Amp 1 and I think that's the scene I like is this nice clean Amp 1, okay, for the Baseman. So I'm going to go here and you click this little triangle and a little window opens up. What do you want to do? Well, I want to copy the current channel, this amp, to my clipboard so I can take it to other places. So now that amp, that basement, is copied to A. I go to Presets. I go to My Sweet Gig Preset. And I go down here, and I'm in Scene 1, where I want my clean to be. And I'm going to paste the clipboard to the current channel. And voila, I now have a 59 basement, and it's copied over all the control things, it's copied over the preamp boost that was actually in that one, because it, it'll vary. You know, it remembers everything is what I'm trying to say, of, of what it did from the original one. So that's pretty cool. Um, you may get a little complicated here when you copy over amps that have bright switches on or off. So that's going to be very interesting. We'll have to take a look at that in a minute. I want to note that real quick. But we're not done yet. you got to save it. And now we got to pull the cab in for it. Otherwise, we're trying to play a basement through a Soldano kind of cab, and we don't want to do that. So we go back to the basement now. We know we like the scene one clean, so now we copy the cab clean. Same kind of thing. Click the triangle, copy to clipboard. All right, and go back to my sweet gig preset. Click this triangle and paste the clipboard to the current channel. It copied over. Great, great. All right. So now if I pick my guitar up, my scene one is clean. Now it's got the effects from the other amps. I probably don't want a, a, a delay on it. And we're going to clean all that up later using that scene manager that we talked about. Going to fix the input gates, for example. Because on a clean, you don't need a heavy input gate, right? You just need a light one, if at all. So, But that's stuff we can do later. So now... We've got my clean done. We want to go to our nice divided by 13 amp, which is an awesome amp. And the scene that we want from this one, I like the lower and the CST boost. That's pretty good for arpeggios. But um, yeah, you know, let's just for uh, for gr Griggle's sake, let's let's pick number three, scene three here. Let's pick that rhythm sound because we're going to copy this scene three into our gig scene two. I wanted to make that. So it's a little trickier, right? So we're copying a scene C amp, right? Copy current channel to clipboard. Go back in here, go to my sweet gig preset. And now remember, it's always gonna, I've saved it so it defaults to one. So you gotta go to scene select so that it goes to scene three. But that's not what we wanna do it. Oops, my bad. We wanna do this in scene two, even though we were copying from scene three. So I caught myself. So we go to scene two, what you're calling my 13 rhythm, and now we're going to copy that. Remember, we copied it from a channel C in one amp, but we're copying it in a channel B in this preset. And that's the kind of concept I want you to see. You can put a channel in any other channel here. All right, so now let's finish this one off by going back. And we said we like the scene three sound, so I want to copy the scene three cab that was dialed in for that particular one. And we'll go back. I know you're starting to get this concept, but we're going to go to scene two. And now we're going to paste that. I know I'm going fast. I'm used to working really fast. You have to when you do all the presets that I do. And now I'm going to save that right now. <laughs> and now we're going to go to scene three. And this is uh, where we're going to put our Atomica uh, one, right? Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. I have to change back to my preset. Did I, did I copy it right? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Boy, I keep messing this video up. Anyway, here we go. My 13 rhythm. I supposed to have copied it here. I didn't switch back. It, or it was slow or something, so my bad. <sighs> okay, there we go. 
I'm tired, guys. Sorry, it's been a long weekend getting all this out for you. All right, so let's go now to scene three. We're going to call this my EVH main. So now we need to go to the Atomica Brown sound. There's the amp. And we do want to use the scene three one here, the main rhythm one. That's the sort of the classic brown sound one. So we go to scene three up here. You can also just click the C here and do it. Copy clipboard. And again, sometimes this thing's a little slow to read everything, but it does eventually get there. And the reason it's coming up is three is I saved it a minute ago. So it would come up that way. Paste clipboard to current channel. Because I've got I've got the scene revert off, I think. It, it'll, it'll go to whatever I save it on. All right, and now got to pick the cab up. 5153 cab. All right. So on C, channel C, probably just so you don't get confused, it's on scene three, channel C, there we go. Copy current channel to clipboard. We get back out, we go to our sweet gig preset. Again, you guys are getting the concept now. And now we're gonna paste that in, right? It's popped in, it's on three, we know it's in the right spot. Boom, now on scene four, we don't have to do anything, why? Come on, scene four, come up, because that was our template amp, so it's already there, right? So now I'm going to go back to scene one. I'm going to click save. you got to remember all this stuff. So now if you look at these amps as they come up, and you can see them here, in amp one, I've got the baseman. In amp two, I've got the divided by 13. I called it two. I should say B. In uh, channel C, I've got the Atomica High for Eddie Van Halen for scene three. And then I've got the Solo 100 for the lead in uh, scene four. So that's how you pull the amps in to the template. Then you can use this really cool scene manager to set up the scenes and the blocks the way you want, kind of from one place. So, for example, we talked about the clean input. I put that right here. That's the noise gate. Well, you know... Uh, it probably shouldn't be at the heaviest for for um, for the two rhythms and for the lead. Maybe we want we do want it off. Maybe it's okay. We don't want it to cut in there. So, and you could change these to do whatever you want. I have it so right now, so the filter block would come on for single coils, and that's why um, you know you'll see that if you pull the filter up. And I did this on the other video as well. So, but you can change all that. That's the point. You can change what, what you want the drive uh, to be on for each scene here, whether you want it to come on automatically or not. It's a beautiful, very powerful feature. I love that they added this in this. So, but, uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. You could set these up to where, you know, you may not want the filter up, but maybe you want the delay to come on uh, in uh, scene four here right and you can see over here the delay is coming on and uh the rhythm we don't want that but we do want this one but it's delay c but maybe you want to do another lead you know in scene eight with a new delay you know my lead you know delay i don't know what you want to call it uh second delay i don't know i'm making it up as i go and then Instead of using C there, maybe you'd want to use D, and it's a different value inside of that. Like the C might be, and this one is a stereotype quarter note, but D is a dotted eighth note. That's another good variation kind of to do. So this is how you do it. The last thing I want to say is that you, um, you can also fix your uh, volume differences, you know. And that's important because these are all kind of leveled the same, but when you're playing and you play a lead, you want the lead to be a little louder, right? And you want the other rhythm things you do to be a little bit less than that. So you don't want to add volume since these are leveled and you want to be able to add gains and stuff that will raise them up. Because if you do that and you add volume here, you'll probably clip. The thing to do is just to pull the lead, the, the lead, these back a little bit to your ears taste, 2 dB, something like that. And leave your lead, you know, basically at, um, what it, at normal. If you really want a lead to punch out, if you add three, 3.5 dB to it, that really punches out. So maybe you have this be something like, this is maybe two, five, and this is like, you know, something like that. You gotta figure it out, what sounds good to you. Don't change the amp levels, do it here, right? 
and then turn your amp up, mine's over here, but my CLR, and make it as loud as you want it to be with the lead, and then hopefully this is when you pull these back, you know, you get to be where you want for your regular stuff. So that's a tip. And that way you've got headline, headroom if you add boost and you add drives and stuff here, you're not going to clip. It'll get a little louder, but you're not going to go up since everything is already le uh, leveled pretty loud. If you add 3 dB here and then you add a boost and then you add a filter, you may just... So you don't want to do that. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, you know, after you do this, you know, you've got this great preset here. Then maybe what you want to do is go into Preset Manager again. And maybe you just want to, um, you know, clean these up, you know. Um, I'm going to copy this empty. And I'm just going to write over these. I don't need them anymore. And I've got my sweet gig preset in there, right? In one. And you can arrange these any way you want. You know, you could have three presets here, uh, you know, 12 different amps. And maybe you want this one to be third and another one to be first. You can just pull them and drag them. Just remember to hit slave. Some of you newbies, FM3, and then these little dots mean I'm writing it, see? And then once it's done, it's done. So sorry for the long video, down and dirty, but I know you guys really wanted to learn how to do this, and so this should help.